Hey YouTube, Consulting Joe here with another video. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today's video we're going to be creating an application with Python and linear regression to uh, train an, a linear regression model, um, a data set with uh, the amount of chirps and their corresponding temperatures. And then once we have that trained, we're going to pass in a, uh, a number of chirps and then we should get a um, a temperature that corresponds to that many chirps. So to get started with that, uh, we're going to need to import our libraries. We are also going to need a data set. Um, the data set that I am using is this, uh, not that, nope, nope, it's this. All right, so uh, here we've got a, a count of chirps and a list of 15 of those and a count of temperatures and 15 of those. So for 20 chirps, it should be roughly 89 degrees, 16 chirps, roughly 72 degrees, and so on. So we're going to feed this into a linear regression model. We're gonna plot the data, um, and then we're gonna, so we're gonna plot the train data, we're gonna plot the test data, and then we're going to uh, use that to give a new prediction based on a chirp, the, a number of chirps that is not here. So let's just get started. So uh, to get started, we're going to need a couple few libraries. We're going to import NumPy as NP. Ah. And then we're going to need to import pandas. And that's going to help us with our data. NumPy is gonna help us with our arrays and we're gonna call that PD. And then we're going to need to import ah, our uh, matplotlib uh, so we can do some plotting. And we're going to pull in the pi plot of that. Um, so we can just use the plotting ability and we're gonna call that PLT. Uh, from there, we're also going to need to import our scikit, uh, and that is going to be sklearn. Um, are we not using? It's going to be sklearn, not scikit. So sklearn.linear model. Um, and that's going to import uh, for, uh, we're going to import the linear uh, regression for that. So that's all we really need for this. Um, here we're going to need our data. So we're going to import our data. And that is going to be a data set. We're going to create a variable. And that data set variable is going to be pd.read excel because we want to read in an excel file and that excel file is in our current directory and it's going to be called uh cricket chirps uh versus temperature and i called this switched because i switched uh the columns around so i can uh switch what i'm predicting on um so currently we are uh, column, the first column is chirps, second column is temps. So just keep that in mind uh, because we need an X and Y uh, to, to do our train for. So X is going to equal our data set dot I lock. So we're gonna locate, uh, we're gonna get all the rows, which is what that colon means. And then we're gonna we're gonna cut off the last one. Everything but the last uh, column is what the second is. And then we're gonna get all the values for that. Uh, why? We're going to uh, do something similar. So data set dot i lock, and then uh, we're gonna get all the rows again, 
but this time we're only gonna get the second which is what this is the second so uh, the second column and the value so this first one this negative one means we're getting all the columns except the last one and then this one means we're only getting the last one which is the second one so same thing you may want to change this but basically X should always be all your data except what you want to do your prediction on and then Y is going to be just your prediction column uh, so just keep that in mind um, but our X is really just another um, column but it could be multiple columns so moving on uh, just to show that we could uh, do a print so X is going to be X and print Y is Y and our output of that uh, let's just do a Python um, we call this predict temp so when we run that we're gonna get an error and it helps to spell things right all right run that again and we get a different error because I call this value when we have multiple values let's try that again and there we go so X is an array full of single element arrays which is fine uh, because this could be multiple pieces of data but right now we only have one column and then y is what we're predicting on our temperature excuse me and then so now that we have our data pulled in from an excel file um, what we want to do from here is we want to split the data into a train and test set so to do that we need to use uh, train test split which is out of sklearn so to do that we want to create a few variables here x train x test um, y train y test and then that's going to equal train ah train test split and we're going to pass in our x and we're going to pass in our y and then we're going to say tell it we want our test size to be one third of our data set and our random state so that we uh, just kind of keep that random uh, is going to just be 42. It's just going to pick a random uh, location of start split and data basically. And that's really all we need. So then we should have our data split up into um, our test and train, um, but one third versus two thirds basically. And then from here we want to create a regression, regressor, object and that's going to equal linear regression and we, that's going to be a function so once we have our uh, regressor object we want to call on it so regressor object um, dot fit and we want to fit our data so we're going to pass in our training set and we're going to pass in X and Y of the training set. So we're gonna train. Uh, so once we have that, we can then do some plotting. So plot uh, dot scatter, and we're gonna pass in our X train and our Y train. So we can see that we're gonna color them uh, red. Okay, and. Uh, that's our scatter plot, and then we want to create a plot, um, and that's going to also be x train, y train. Um, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, x train, and then we're going to pass in our regressor, regressor object uh, dot predict, and 
predict is lowercase, predict. Um, and so with our predict, we're gonna pass in x train so that we can uh, uh, have our labels and our plot uh, laid out. Um, so with that, um, let's see. Oh, we, we might want a, a really cool title for it, right? Plot.title, uh, cricket chirps versus temp. Let's just call it that. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, we need our actual label. So X label is going to be uh, chirps and plot dot Y label is going to be temp. Uh, what are we missing? And this is in Fahrenheit, but um, yeah. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we're gonna show that. All right, so let's just see where we're at right now. So if we run this, we're going to get our data set and we're gonna get an error. Train test split is not defined. Uh, let's see here, train, where was I? Train test split is not defined. Did I forget to import something? Um, yes, so from SK Learn, uh, we did forget to import one last thing. So from from SK Learn dot um, where is that model selection? Uh, we want to import ah import our train test split. So that's where that function comes from. All right, let's try that one more time. And it trains and we plot. So this is uh, the start and we should be able to do a prediction here in a second. So this was the, if we close that, that was our training data. If we were to duplicate this and uh, let's say I throw a train on here so we know. I'll put in parentheses so that helps. And then in here, we'll call it test. So we'll simply replace train with test. And color, uh, would we do same thing? Color, uh, oh, we didn't, we didn't um, color this stuff, color equals blue. So I don't remember if it was or not by default, but this way we will now have our plotted test and train data. So we'll get our train data first. That's our train. And then this is our test data. That's one third of the overall data set. So that's the data plotted out, um, but we've already basically trained it. So why don't we comment out our plotting and then just uh, run a prediction on that. So um, to do a prediction, we're going to uh, pr print out prediction and then um, we're going to, what are we gonna do? Um, let's just go above here. We'll call it uh, pred for prediction. So pred will equal, um, let's see, uh, it'll equal our regressing, regressor object dot predict, because that's what we've been doing. And then we're going to predict on the same um, training set. And then um, what are we gonna do with that prediction? So, oh, uh, so we've already trained the regressor object. So we wanna pass in a value that our training data or our test data hasn't seen at all yet. Um, so to pass in our own value outside of what we've sucked in from the Excel file, we need to, um, we need to basically, we wanna put in one number. We wanna say, all right, we got 23 chirps and we want to find out what temperature that should be based on our data that we trained. So to do that, 
we need this prediction uh, function is expecting a numpy array. So we want to do an np dot array. And inside that array, we want our array. So we take an array and it's going to convert it to a numpy array, um, which is just, uh, uh, it's an array, but it gives you more functionality on your array. Um, so to do that, we need, um, we need two array objects because this could be a, a whole bunch of data, even though right now we're only working with one column of data, but we still need to pass it in as if it could be a, a larger set of data uh, across. So, but right now we only have chirps. So we're only going to have it predict on a single number. So I'm just going to pass in 23. So now it's going to take this two element, uh, a two dimensional array of one element and convert it to a numpy array and then do our prediction with our regressor object that we've done our fitting and training to. So that prediction, so based on our, our training data, we don't have any chirps at 23. The highest one is 20 and it was 89 degrees. So that's kind of warm. So 23, whew, it's gotta be warm out there. So let's, uh, let's do that test one more time. We run it, we train and our prediction is 101.6 degrees outside. So um, that looks like it matches up to me. Um, so if we want to do one more little test, we can try, let's say 15. And then if we review our data set, we do have one at 15. There's another one at 80 though. Uh, there's another 15 at 70. So we're kind of all over the place here. I would expect that it should be somewhere in the middle here, uh, maybe a little closer to 70 since we have two values that were close to 70 and and then one kind of outlier at, at 80. So uh, let's see if we get something somewhat close to 70. And there we go, 74.3, which, um, which sounds pretty good to me. So uh, that's um, pretty much all I've got today. I hope you've uh, enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments. Um, and then uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.